Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Trophynet, the babbling Belgian, and we're still in Mahakam, in Mare's Islet, to be precise, where we've agreed with the local dwarves to, uh, well, escort them on an expedition to a northern vale, the Blackbrook Vale. Be bold. Take on challenges, risks even. But before you set out to do anything, buy yourself some proper insurance. Okay. Always darkest for the dawn. Or when the last candle in the mine goes out. <laughs> Waiting's painful. Forgetting's painful. But an hour's dragged across cinders is the worst kind of suffering. Indeed. Fall down seven times, get a bait. Then clobber the dunderhead who keeps shoving you. Fall down seven times. Okay, sounds like good advice all around. So there's a couple of dwarves over Stay here. Stay clear of Boros Rump. Unless you like shale mars, that is. We, we cleared them out. It's a wee stranger every year. Scary to think where he'll be a hundred from now. Oh, I'd cut my beard, but I haven't yet received written permission. Okay. Oh, I'd cut my beard. So the women need written permission to even cut their beards. This place is full of strange rules and guidelines. But there's a few things on the map. So if we look at it. We saw, I think, a harpy on the south here. There's a little settlement over here I might actually take a look at first, because it looks like a blacksmith. And then we'll head south to face the monsters. Hello! Your Majesty, the local blacksmith Zdravek Kranmer, is spelling a fragment of a magical runestone of some sort or other. Should you collect all the remaining pieces, you'll be able to create a powerful artifact, or so he claims. What is your decision, milady? Shall we purchase it? Of course, fetch the gold. There we go. Looks like a bomb. Still don't really know what it is. Uh, and he has a bit of resources for us in the back as well. Seems like there's more where that came from up there. But first, first, let's head towards that harpy and see if we can take it out. Hello, hello. We're really set for standard battles because our army has increased in number a lot. So stolen dreams while passing a nearby cave, Mii's attention turned to the icicles hanging from the cavern's mouth. They seemed to pulsate eerily with a soft light. The queen told herself it was a mere reflection of the sun's rays. Yet, had she a witcher's expertise at her disposal, she would know that ice can be enchanted with stolen dreams. And such circumstances could mean but one thing, a Seleno harpy Nests must be close by. Okay, so the Seleno or Selino Harpy is a card from Grant as well. Damage a random enemy by two if it is under Biting Frost, damage it by four instead. Repeat this ability whenever a Snow Wolf appears. Fair enough. Let's start off with the Regiment Drummer. Army's a waste of time for one like me. And put something like a war wagon. Yeah, let's put the, a war wagon up here. So, what's that first? Another drummer. So, yeah, war wagon. There we go. And the turn. And a harpy act is created probably by the Salino harpy. Ooh, damn. Spawn a harpy egg. Okay. If it's dead, we spawn a harpy. Fair enough, so let's use the drummer to get the Wagenberg down here, and another drummer over him. here. And I upgraded my Hajduk, so I can actually give charges to uh, both of these. Pointy and upwards, right? So let's hope the wolves don't actually kill off my one... Oh, you know what? Regiment drummer again, and put the Grey Rider over here. As you command. And the third. So now this guy can actually consume a bronze enemy with seven power or less. That is interesting. I lost one of my drummers. And I think I want to take out at least one of those snow wolves. And I'm going to use one of my drummer charges. Yeah, there we go. To put... What's that behind it? The lance connect. So I think I just want to destroy the wolf, right? Oh, you know what? Let's just do this. That's three damage. That moves over there, and then the lance connect over here. Bolivia! And that actually can damage an enemy and all enemies with the same power by one. But not going to do just that just yet. And he passed. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Then I'm going to pass as well. 
damage all units on an enemy row by two if the row is only biting frost damage them all by four instead let's just use backer's dark mirror i think why not they eh? why not there we go poof and poof 27 then i can use the warhammer ability to do whatever i want yeah the, the drummer let's just please please keep that drummer over there God and then pull another the Clarion Cavalry. Biting Frost on all rows. They're gonna keep taking damage. You know what? Why not? Why not? Feel any burning? See a local healer or Transform a damage unit into a bear. Draw and play two blitz units from your deck, or draw two units and set the power to one. Yeah, let's go with the Royal Decree. There we go. A uh, drummer again, and an Arblast that cannot again. do any damage, but there I'm we go. Lyria! And then I need to damage something apparently, so let's just damage that guy. Barnabas. There we go, so I can use the Lyrian Lance Connect to get rid of the Harpy Eggs. That's gonna spawn two more Harpies, which is fine. Then I can use Reynard to fill up the charges again. Company, forward march! So that gives all of these an extra charge. And then could use the Lance Connect to damage these guys a bit further, but I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait one more turn. So I can use Meave. Okay, that creates more and more harpies, which is fine by me. Because he gains a charge on a loyal ability as well, so... Ow! There goes our Arbalest, which is not good. Not good. More dead eggs. There we go. That means that now I could technically use the Lyrian Sapper, but... What do I want to get out with Meave's Warhammer? Ah! What's the damage right now? It's pretty high, I think. So I might actually get Isbel out. Unless I want to use Xavier to get just more units out of there. Yeah, I'm going to use Isbel. So let's get... Use the drummer to get Isbel out and put her on the back row. It's not too late to So that's at 61 away. right now. Then use the Rivian Sapper to take out pretty much everything. Be a right good levy, so Harpy 1, Harpy 2, Harpy 3, Harpy 4, Harpy 5, Harpy 6, 7, 8, counting with Trophy Nut, and a 9 point for the Ice Troll, and then we get to kill off uh, ice roll. There we go. That should be enough for now. Uh, we get another Barbagazi with the resilience who consumes another ally. Egg gets boosted further. The Lyrian Lance Connect is not going to be useful at the moment. So let's just use Gascon over here. Quick and painful, this will be. Eat both Reynard and Gascon with the Forager. Our damage amount is at 65. But I could increase that, although I don't want to. Um, yeah, let's just use the two charges right now, because I'm not going to be able to do anything with that otherwise. There we go. And then Isbel. And get that 65 out there, and that resets. So that's something that the card actually doesn't say. Once you use her, her current boost amount is actually reset back to zero. So pause. Two more cards that he can play, but I think he won't be able to kill us off. So another ice troll. And another snow wolf, which is not gonna do anything, so goodbye. Goodbye, Harpy. There we go, and a lot more loot for us again, although it's not as much as before. It's not that much. Uh, hoo hoo ha, Stoyan, son of Arvin. Rumor has it those plowing Barbagazi have come down from the mountains again. Take a few lads and get rid of those scabby hairballs for good. 
But if they reach Fook's territory, don't ye dare to follow him. Follow them, Prover Hog. Okay, and it appears like they did actually follow them. Aha, and I think this is where the chest was buried. There's just a chest over here, so I don't think that's actually it. So a new border for Ingwent, thank you very much. To use Ingwent, but otherwise there's not much here, so let's get back to the north. So if we go down here, we get another settlement, Fornlum, with a question mark. Meave had stopped and was Forgotten removing the ice from her mare's fetlocks when Gabor Zigrin approached. The dwarf squatted at the queen's side, glanced about quickly, then started speaking in a barely audible whisper. Your Majesty, I overheard some folk talking in the smithy. Birdies claim there's treasure, true riches, in the hills near Blackbrook Vale, south of here. Stowed away there. And nobody dares go looking for it on account of beasts that have made their lairs there. But you've got a wee army behind you. I reckon you could try. Might be worth the risk, eh? It might. The queen brushed the snow from her knees, and raising a hand against the glaring sunlight, peered towards the mountains. Though tempted, she had doubts. To start, the rocky scree at their feet warned clearly of avalanches. I shall think on it, she answered, before vaulting into her saddle. Yeah, we were warned, but I don't, I'm just going to do that, so uh, let's start with these guys. Many secrets and many treasures. Discover your head in the mountains. Ooh, ah, ooh, ah, unforgiving winters come. Fear no snow nor icy gale. Fight the frost with mugs of ale. Oh yeah, singing. Vale holds many, many secrets and many treasures. We get it, we get it. Let's get ourselves a bit more recruits. Which we might actually lose in that avalanche if we choose to go down there. Uh, south. South is actually south, but I can't go. I can't go south. This was it. Fornum is south. And I thought Blackbrook Vale was actually to the north and not to the south. On our own? What do you mean on our own? We were always on our own. What the hell are you talking about, dude? Okay, let's check this out. Your Majesty, Gabor says this is our final refuge where we can rest and enjoy a warm meal before venturing into Blackbrook Vale. The soldiers are spent from climbing and need to sit to need to sit a spell if your grace could find some extra coin to provide for our stay uh of course we will morale is always important um but there is one more i should have done that first there's one more puzzle up here yeah there's one more puzzle up here that's gonna bite me in the ass isn't it my completionist behavior is gonna bite me in the ass but let's go to that puzzle and then we'll head blackbrook vale there we go here we go oh this is actually a brewery. We we can't lose morale in a brewery, can we? Ooh, headstrong. Gascon always had something to boast. That there was no other as handsome as he. That no other had his talent for juggling. And the list goes on. Other soldiers simply rolled their eyes and ignored him. However, once during a stop at a brewery, Gascon proclaimed he could hold his ale better than any dwarf. This had crossed the line for Gabor Zigrin, who promptly pulled the mug from his saddlebag. Finish your cold ale before Gabor does. Interesting. We're in a drinking competition now. And we're playing as uh, Gascon again, which is also interesting. So, finish your cold ale before Gabor does. The first to finish this card is the champion. Every turn on turn starts, take 3 swigs of cold ale, use 1 charge to take a swig of cold ale. If you took more swigs than you have gawkers during the round, gain 1 gawker. If you took more swigs than you have gawkers during the round, gain 1 gawker. But we don't have gawkers in here. Such the inspiration on this turn, each charge used allows 2 swigs of ale instead of 1. Give each competitor a charge. And that's it. Absorb an ally's charges and after one turn on turn start, give them all back with an additional two charges. Let's use a fortitude tonic first on Gascon, because I need to use a card. Oh no, wait, wait, let's restart that. I was wrong. Yeah, give each competitor a charge. There we go. I need to use a card and I feel like that's the least useful card. So let's take a swig and take a swig. And a turn. And we get a gawker. Give Gascon one charge for every two gawk gawkers. Okay. And if I have, I took more swigs than I, 
have caulkers I get another swig. Let's give each of them another charge. So I have two swigs now. One and two. And then the turn. Now I start with two swigs. And I'm gonna absorb... No, I can actually just do this again. There we go. One, two, three. And that. Then I need to absorb them, I feel like. Give them all back with an additional two charges. Or... Use the Sutsi Inspiration. Let's use that first. So now I get two swigs for each charge. So we get another gawk gawker. No. If you took more swigs and you have gawkers during the round, gain one gawker. Crap. I made a mistake there. Let's see how this works. So that's six. Should have used the double on that one, right? Yeah, I needed to. If I absorb his, I can't even absorb his charges. Yeah, that 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 makes it over. Okay, let's restart. So we're pretty much at the same point now. I doubled up on my charges first, but I think I can do that again. So if I take them back, I get uh, two on the next turn, and I can double up on them. So yeah, that's it, I think, because I can actually do one more turn without, so I take them back again. Then I get 10 charges, and if I use the Sutsi Inspiration, I get double up on the charges, which means that I can finish up my whole tail right here. There we go. So we needed to double up your charges two times, and you got out of there pretty easily. There we go, Mahakam Ale. Impossible. I can't believe it. Gascon, he... He drank a dwarf under the table. I've said it before, I think, dear Reynard. You simply underestimate him. Indeed. Indeed he did. That was impressive. Uh, now, let's take a look. So our inspiration is... Our inspiration... Our morale is still good. Which is fine. But I just want to take a look at the Mahakam Ale part. If that is actually really useful or not. So that's another trinket. It actually looks... Yeah, it's just something. Every turn on turn end, boost a random ally on each row by two. That is incredibly powerful. I just want that. Um, I could swap that out for the Lillian Merlot, but that's too powerful. So I'm going to swap out Becker's Twisted Mirror for the Mahakam Ale. There we go. And one of our next upgrades is going to be that I can actually take four trinkets, which will fix that problem as well. So, without further ado, I don't think I can actually get something over here, right? No. So let's go into Black Brook Vale. Which is actually something we need to pass through to actually get the Brewer Hall. Because this place is pretty linear. So yeah, we need to get through the Vale. To finally get over here. This is probably, yeah, the summit. Interesting. So we're at the most northern peak already. So let's move forward. We have time for one, at least one more battle. We'll see how that goes. Let's get the marker over here. Because I'm assuming I missed a few treasure maps, or at least treasure chests. And we have another one of those. Okay. She's moving on her own. I'm not doing this. What is this place? Blackbrook Vale. Quite lovely. Aye. And damned dangerous. Keep your arms at the ready. Okay. It looks pretty, but that might be part of the problem. So there's a letter here probably. You are now entering Blackbrook Vale. Do not touch anything. Do not stray from the path. Do not spit from the terrace. Always watch for monsters. Fair enough. So monsters took hold of this place. I'm just going to stray from the path immediately. We, the dwarves of the third Blackbrook Vale expedition, have erected this obelisk as proof of our efforts to those who follow in our footsteps. If we do not return, drink to our health and remember our names. Hoo hoo ha. 1214 by human reckoning. Interesting. So the year is actually a lot higher on the dwarf side, if you read the Roman, Roman numerals there. It was a few thousand. Because, of course, the dwarves have lived a lot longer. A bridge troll. Might actually take that puzzle. Come on, buddy. Frost Bridge. Mahakam's engineers were puzzled why the mighty Frost Bridge had fallen to ruin. 
Perhaps an ice flow was to blame? Or a stiff, frigid gale from Mount Carbon? An earthquake, perhaps? No, these were not the cause. The true culprit stood 10 feet tall with thick skin and an exceptionally hostile temperament. Move all units except the bridge troll to the other side of the battlefield and do not let any of our units die. That's usually the hardest part of these things. Um. Okay. So there's a bridge troll on our sides. Let a unit cross the bridge. Every turn on turn start damage three units on the right by three, two, one in that order. Order, let a unit cross the bridge. One place to the right, one place to the right. I feel like this is probably the best thing to do. Move that to the right. What does the other thing do? Force a unit to move past the bridge troll. Let's do that. Let the first one pass. So he's gonna do that again. And I'm already fucked. So those two units with six are the key here. So those can survive uh, the biggest hits. So if I move the Sightman, the straight bomber to the right, and then move the Rivian Pikeman over, we get this situation. So three, two, one. I need to move the Lyrian Arblast one to the right. Three, two, one. To get the Lyrian Sightman to the other side. So three, two, one will still survive. There we go. Then I'm still fucked. Or not. Or not. No, 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 I'm not fucked. So if I use my uh, charge to get the alchemist to the other side and then use the bridge troll to get the straight bombing on the other side i have this situation so it's going to damage the arblast by one and then i can use the charge command to get the light infantry unit over and the bridge troll to get the arblast over and we're done okay so those two six power units were the key there there we go bridge troll taken out and uh, we get a morale boost over there with the shrine, but we don't need that just yet. Is there something up north there? Seems like there's a little bridge. Up to a cave and a dead guy. A dead dwarf. Milady dwarven bodies litter the cave. Dozens with no visible wounds. Seems they sought shelter. They carried their belongings with them. Items that may be of use to us. Mind you, if the three scouts sent... Only one has returned. We know not what killed the others. They simply collapsed as if paralyzed. Nevertheless, we search the caves. We lose 20 dudes, which is not a problem. And we get a whole lot of coin, a whole lot of wood, and our last part of the card. Oh no, that's the spoiled ale. The expired ale. So we're actually building two cards at the same time right now. Kind of forgot about that. Lads and lassies, if you're reading this, it means the next group of settlers have arrived. May you have more luck than we, the fifth expedition. 40 dwarves strong just a month past, but we're now only three. Obrin, Brodan, and Sava. Plowing mystery what killed the rest. Found them one morning in their beds, just dead. Stiff as boards. Expect soon we'll share the same fate, I can just feel it in my bones. Anyhow, we tucked away what's left of our valuables in a grotto east of here. No longer any of us, or any use to us, but mayhap it's just what you're looking for. Hoo hoo ha. To the east. Okay, we have another full-scale battle, but I don't really have the time to do another full-scale battle. Although, you know what? Why not, eh? Let's check out the notice board. Yeah, yeah, let's just do this. Let's just kill this raid. I can actually skip through most of this. The hay cart. Dusted with snow, an abandoned cart stood in the middle of the road, two feet protruding from the back. What had happened here? A murder? An ambush? Neve didn't have to wait long to learn the truth. For, in a moment... She heard a damning howl behind her. So a standard battle. So, Grey Rider first. At once. And then I'll boost um, something up here. Let's boost an Arblast to see, just to start off with. There we go, like an Arblast and end the turn. And this guy, a Draugr. 
Every four turns on turn start, hunt the non highest non hunted enemy and move it to the other row. Every turn on turn start, damage all haunted units by one. Fair enough. Decrease the unit's power by 33%. If it's haunted, half its power instead. Okay. Again, again, this might actually hurt a bit. There we go, another Draugr. Moving stuff around. Let's put the war wagon down. So they might actually just focus on those guys. Then use the regiment drummer and get an Arblast out, which will do six damage already. And then sadly we get Raynard out, which was an unforeseen consequence. Exceptional. But there we go. Let's end the turn with that. For three turns on turn start, haunt and damage an enemy by one on the first turn. Then increase damage by one for each following turn, so we do want to kill that, if we can. I'm actually going to use the Aretusa Adept to get more drummers <sighs> in my deck. These school loans. There we go. Then we can use Meave to pull something else out. I think it's best maybe to pull another drummer. Might actually get the Lyrian Cavalry later. Uh, so maybe another Arblast. So let's use that. Arblasts. Uh, four is enough Arbalista, for this guy. Man. And then another Grey Rider over here. Yes. Which doesn't actually move this one for some reason. Weird. So since they move, it actually works in our favor, because the Grey Riders actually boost those units. Okay, let's pause that. First round is ours. And I think we might actually just push through and save a bit of time. I feel like these guys aren't going to do too much to me. Hunt an enemy for five turns, whenever it takes damage, blah 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 blue. Then I can use the Lyrian Lance Connect on those two. Yeah, Isbel on the board. So much anger and suffering. I hope she doesn't get haunted. Egg is still going. I feel like I should save him up. I think I can pretty easily get this. Let's just boost everyone here. And damage everyone over there. Then use Meave. To strengthen something, I guess. Just the drummer again. And then end the turn. So that moves a few units around again. Which is not fine, because of course... I don't have the full use of my forager now. Um, but... Use the uh, lance connect on those two. Use Isbel to boost by 45. Then use the Forager to get Egg. And use the Lyrian Merlot to boost Isbel to 64. Should be enough to get around those two cards. I hope, because... What the hell is that? A Noon Wraith. Okay, there we go. Victory. Never mind. Didn't even get to see what it does. But uh, there we go. Taken down. Ah, uh, we got a bit more loot out of that. Not much, but it's something. Every little bit helps, eh? If you saw my Gwentech episode about me, if you know what that means. Da, we've finally arrived. The place was crawling with critters, but we dealt with them in no time. The shanties are run down, but they'll be as good as new before long. Just a damn pity there's no game in the forest. Either way, I've got a good feeling. Six times the charm. Hoo-hoo-ha, Darten. Well, it wasn't, it wasn't a charm at the sixth, guys, as well. And we noticed seven expeditions, so still one missing. So and with that, I'm going to take a little break. So thank you guys enormously for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll hope I see you guys again in the next episode of Thronebreaker, The Witcher Tales. Goodbye. <laughs>